Holy cow, amazing uh, set of animal stories there. And we've got an amazing temperature drop that will continue as we head into tomorrow, bringing us close to the coldest temperatures of the season. At this point, November 14th, 24 degrees that morning has been our coldest. We'll be pretty darn close to that tomorrow morning. Either way, I throw on an extra layer. Tonight, the clouds, the last of them, continue to move out of our area, and that'll leave us with a fairly sunny day on Thursday. Doesn't do much to warm us up this time of year. You know, a full day of sunshine in July and it's 100 degrees. Full day of sunshine in December and it's only 45. That after starting around 27, we jump up to 33 by 9 a.m., 41 at noon. Again, mid 40s for highs tomorrow, very similar to what we had today. And then it'll be another cold night as we head into tomorrow night. Also, late tomorrow night, we'll start to see clouds move in. And it's those clouds that will eventually rain on us Friday. And all this cold weather has you probably craving for something warm. Well, I've got warm thoughts from this super sunset. This is the long list of great pictures I got Thanksgiving week. I'm continuing to show you those. This is Bob down in Seven Lakes. As you know, I love sunsets on water because you get the reflection. They're twice as nice. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page in just a second so you can take a second look. Also, a very important note about sunsets this week. You know, our shortest day of the year, our longest night, is around the start of winter officially, which is uh, still about two weeks away. But this week, our sun starts to set a little later. Our days continue to get shorter, but that's a pretty important point of the year as we all look forward to the longer days that will start as we get into springtime. Now tonight, high pressure helping to push those clouds out. It's also helping to give us that northerly flow, which cranks in the colder air. That's going to be important as our next weather maker arrives. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, not a whole lot to talk about tomorrow. From 7 a.m. with sunny skies through lunchtime, through the afternoon, and all the way up to 7 p.m., not a whole lot to talk about. But you see the clouds starting to collect down to our south. So as we go from Thursday night into Friday morning, here comes more cloud cover. Here comes our next batch of rain. I'm going to stop it at 4 a.m. because the arrival time of Friday's rain is very important to everyone in North Carolina. The earlier it gets here, the colder it's going to be in the middle of the night and the better chance we could see some frozen precipitation in the form of freezing rain. That looks a little more likely for our friends over in the triad in the mountains, maybe down in Charlotte early Friday morning. Rain's still not here yet, so we shouldn't have any precipitation problems. By the time the rain does get here to us, it's 7, 8 a.m. While it's not going to be warm, temperatures should be just above freezing, so it's a rain event. So that's the solution right now. That's our forecast now. Our friends to the west could have some freezing rain, but for us, it looks like a cold rain. Now, this is still a day and a half away. If the rain arrives a little earlier, our forecast will change. So while I don't have a lot of concerns in central North Carolina right now, we're not going to walk away from this. We're going to have to keep an eye on it. So that's the headline, the possibility of frozen precipitation to the west. But the bigger story is going to be the fact that through 9 a.m. lunchtime in the afternoon, it's going to rain. It's going to be cloudy and it's going to be cold. It's going to be a miserable day on Friday. Rain continuing through Friday night. We'll get a break as we head into late Friday night, but we could also see a little bit of rain Saturday morning. That's going to affect the Durham, the Fayetteville, the Holly Springs Holiday Parade. Not going to be a washout Saturday morning but you'll have to keep an eye out for a couple of showers. But back to the Friday morning frozen precipitation, the chances of seeing some frozen precipitation, a hundredth of an inch, is much, much higher farther to the west. So again, while it's something we'll watch, it's not something that's likely around here or anything we're going to worry about just yet. We need to worry about staying warm because it's only going to be 45 tomorrow. Only in the 40s Friday, too, when we have that wet weather. There's the rain on Saturday, but temperatures eventually warm into the 50s. In fact, we'll get close to 60 by next Monday and Tuesday, guys. Another batch of rain Tuesday and another shot of cold air. Your exclusive 10-day forecast brings us back into the 40s next Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. That's more 40s than 70s for sure. Hopefully you uh, got all your warming yesterday because it's going to be a while before we do that. Tuesday looks good at 60. Yes, a little bit of rain though. I say that, but it'll probably go down. All right, thanks Wes.